What's up guys, Convicted Marketer Lawrence Aponte here. And in this video, I'm gonna literally show you guys how you can easily spy on your competitors' ads, see what's working for them, and see if you can model that and put it in your existing business. So guys, I'm super excited to um, share this tool with you. I've actually found out about it about a week ago and it has been totally game changing, seeing what people are using and modeling after them to have it work for me. Um, I'll go ahead and just log in right here so you guys can see. Um, this, as you can see here, we have over, this is the back, the back office interface here of, of it. Uh, don't, and don't worry about what link it is or whatnot. I'm going to have a link either in the description or the comment section where you can actually get this tool um, for free. And you'll be able to have access to almost 13 million ads. Okay, so um, real quick, I'll show you guys how this works. Basically, there's over 13 million ads available in this database that you can model off of, that you can spy on, that you can see what's working for the competition, and you can literally implement this stuff and put it in your business to work for you. So here's what you got to do. Um, you could literally start off up here and you could put in keywords. I don't know. We can start off with keywords. We'll put shoes, right? And literally any ad that has to do with shoes is going to come up and as you can see what the copy is, what engagement they have um what they're using what they're what what's on there um that's with the keyword uh you can literally have some keywords here just just so you can kind of like gauge and have examples free shipping right if it's typically free shipping maybe it has to do with e-commerce or like a physical product so if you're into physical um product space such as shopify this can work for you because you can see what's working for other people's and and kind of implement it in your business now as it loads up here it's literally finding all the ads that have the keyword free shipping in it and it's loading them up here and as you can see you, we can see the engagement 156 likes 5,000 likes 2,000 likes 1400 and as the ads load up we can actually click on add insight and once you click on add insight what it's going to do is it's going to show you literally the entire ad the ad copy it'll give you an option to go to the original post um, right here we if it has see this one here doesn't have um, too much data, but it does show you that it has, it's reached about 36,000 people, ad frequency about 1.84. Um, and you can just kind of get like the impression trending, the engagement trending, and see exactly what's going on. We can act, it's, it's a, the objective is website conversions. Okay, so the WC post. Um, we can actually click here and see the original post um, and see the actual post and see the comments and see all the engagement and go to the actual product and and whatnot and kind of do like a, a a little synopsis and do like your little analysis and get a, a briefing on this so while this loads up um you know it's kind of slow today um we'll actually go back to the tool and we'll, we'll clear the filters here because you actually have these um these filters that will just literally just kind of pull up um all these kind of ads so if we come here and i'll kind of show you i'll go down break down each one of these so we can actually do time frame so if you want to like find ads that were run in a certain time frame, maybe you want to check ads from the past three months or the past six months, you can actually put that there. Search mode, you can actually put advertiser, you can put URLs or more the ad, actually advertisement in there. Ad type, whether you want to do video, image, carousel or others. Okay, then you have call to action. You know, sometimes an ad will have a call to action. Apply now, book now. So if you want to see a certain ad with a certain call to action, you can actually click on there language maybe you want to see ads in different languages or different countries sometimes different objectives here's a really powerful one because you can actually do eShop finder so if you're doing anything on teespring tchip teasley shopify magneto woocommerce if you're doing anything on any one of these platforms you can literally click on it let's just click on shopify for example and we can hit filter Okay, and it'll pull up, look, 42,000 ads that have to do with Shopify. So guys, this is super, super powerful. I mean, I can go into all the details and all of the features, but I think you guys are seeing the power in it in itself. But if that's not all, let me show you actually, if we go to my Facebook, you can come here. If we go to my Facebook newsfeed and we go to the home, this tool actually has also a, um, a, an extension that allows you to see each individual advertisers ads and what they're running so if we come here to like the ad and you can see here this is sponsored oh it's actually um we can turn it on so it is on so this one here as as they start loading up my internet like i said it so it shows you under here so ad total says two so this company doyen only has two ads out we don't really want to see that so we're going to wait here 
let this load up just a little bit here. And you can see here, Russell Brunson, right? So Russell Brunson has a total of 340 ads. Let's go check them out. Now, how powerful is that, guys, that we can go to our Facebook home screen and see ads in our feed and then literally see how many ads the people have and reverse engineering. So while this loads up, I'll go ahead back to the tool here and show you guys some more filters that there is available. So we come down here, we can come to audience filter, we could do age, gender, gender or actual interest if we want to do actual interest. Um, or this one here is also powerful as well. If you want to do based on engagement, so we can do posts, we can see ads that basically, let's say we want them to have a minimum of 5000 likes and a maximum of, I don't know, 25,000. So we'll hit filter, we'll let this load up. As this is loading up, we'll actually go back to um, the big, big ads. Once again, I'm sorry, guys, the internet's running a bit slow today. So as, as this loads up, um, I'll just pause it for one second. All right, so as you can see, as this loads up, now we have posts here that have a minimum of 5,000 likes and the maximum of 25,000. And we can see, look, 10,000 likes, 8,000 likes, 24,000 likes, 7,000 likes, 15,000 likes. I mean, we can literally go ad by ad, see what's working for them, and use this. We can click on Add Insight. Okay, and we can see what's going on, right? We can see the original posts. We can see their ad copy. Okay, we can go to their product. Okay, we can go back here and remember Russell Brunson, 340 ads. Now we can see every single ad Russell Brunson is, wor is running and we can model off him and we can see what's going on and we can find the competition. Listen, guys, the link is going to be either in the description or the comment section. Go ahead and click on it. Um, they have a free plan. They have a paid plan. Um, I have the paid plan. I like to have everything, all the bells and whistles. Try the free plan. Try it out. Um, let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.